you have to design a black box whose input clock signal and output relationship are shown in a diagram. Let me elaborate it for you. So you have to design this black box having clock as an input and out is the output. Now let us see the behavior of this out signal. Out is a signal which is similar to the clock signal. Friends, now you can put some effort to design this black box. And while doing so, you can pause my video here. Otherwise, I will let you know its answer. Now let me give you its answer. So you have to take two clock dividers, one working at the positive edge of the clock and another working at the negative edge of the clock. So particularly these two clock dividers are dividing the clock frequency by two. So this is the clock signal. So this clock divider will give its output something like this. At the positive edge, it will toggle its output. And this clock divider is working at the negative edge of the clock. So it will trigger its output at the negative edge of the clock. But both are dividing the clock frequency by two. Now, if you put XOR gate here at the output of both the dividers, so you will get the required signal, which is a signal just similar to the clock signal. Now let us move to your next question. In the next question, friends, you have to reduce this hardware. For the same problem statement, we have to consume less area. For example, in this solution, we are consuming two flip-flops, one working at the positive edge and another working at the negative edge. Two NOT gates and one XOR gate. Now you have to propose a solution which should consume less area as compared to the current solution. You can pause my video here, take your time, try to find out its answer. Otherwise, I will let you know its answer. Now let me tell you its answer. To know its answer, let us take our attention to the output of the first clock divider which is working at the positive edge of the clock. So this is the output signal. Now let us take our attention at the output of this negative edge trigger divider. Now if we try to compare both the outputs, out of positive edge trigger divider and output of negative edge trigger divider. If you see, if I put simply a negative edge trigger flip-flop at the output of this first divider, which is working at the positive edge of the clock, I will get this signal, which is in fact the output of this negative edge trigger flip-flop. So you can say that you don't need any clock divider working at the negative edge of the clock. You can simply put a negative edge trigger flip-flop at the out of this first clock divider and you will get this signal. And simply put XOR gate, you will get this output. So now let me show you the final output. So the final output will be something like this. So this is the clock divider, which is working at the positive edge of the clock. And its output is going to the flop, which is negative edge trigger flip-flop. And then feed the output of both the flops to an XOR gate you will get your final output, as I mentioned earlier. So this is the clock signal. This is the output of uh, uh, the clock divider working at the positive edge of the clock and output name is Q1. So Q1 is something like this. Now let us see what will be Q2, which is the output of a flop working at the negative edge of the clock. So at every negative edge, it will capture the value at its input, which is Q1. Okay, at all the negative edges, it will change its value. So this will be our Q2. And there is XOR gate. Now Q1 and Q2, both the inputs are XOR and we are getting output. Okay, so this one, this 0 will get 1. 1, 1, it will give 0. 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, 1. And so on. This is our expected signal, which is just similar to the clock signal. And in this case, we have reduced one NOT gate. We have optimized our hardware. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Your support means a lot to us.